Moses was tending the sheep of his father-in-law Jethro. So he took the flocks to Mount Horeb, the mountain of God. And there the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a burning bush. Now Moses, he saw the bush and he realized it was not being consumed by the fire. And so he thought to himself, I must go closer that I can see this strange sight. Now as Moses approached the burning bush, a voice called out, Moses, Moses, here I am. Don't come any closer. Take off your sandals, for the ground that you're standing upon is holy. I am the God of your father. I'm the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob. And when Moses heard this, oh, he was afraid to look at the face of God. The Lord spoke. I have seen the struggles of my people in Egypt. I hear their cries because of the slave master, and I am concerned. I have come down that my people can be led out of Egypt and led to a new land, a rich land, a land with room, a land flowing with milk and honey. It is the land of the Canaanites, the Hittites, the Amorites, the Peruzites, the Jebusites, and the Hivites. Israel's cries for help have reached me. I see how every day the slave masters beat them down. And so, I'm sending you to talk to Pharaoh. I want you to lead the Israelites out of Egypt and to this new promised land. They are my people. But Moses, he said, who am I? Who am I that, that I should talk to Pharaoh? Who am I to lead the people out of Egypt? And the Lord said, I'll be with you. I'll give you a sign that everyone will know that I sent you. Now go, get my people and bring them here to worship. But Moses said, but what if I go to the elders and I tell them, the Lord has sent me. What if they ask your name? What do I do then? And the Lord God said, I am who I am. Tell them I am has sent you. I am the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob. Remember me by that name for all time. Now go. Go to the elders. Tell them you're leading them to a new land. They'll believe you. And after that, go to the Pharaoh. Tell him that you're leading the Israelites out of Egypt and into the desert where they will spend three days worshiping. He won't believe you. He won't let the people go. It will take a mighty hand to cause that. And I am telling you, my hand is coming down mightily on Egypt and mightily on the Pharaoh. I will work such miracles. And then he'll let the people go. And I have arranged that when you leave Egypt, the women and all of their neighbors, they'll give you silver and gold. Go to those women, ask for clothing for all the children. And that way, when you leave Egypt, you will take with them all of their wealth. But Moses said, but what if I tell them? that I'm coming from the Lord, the God of Abraham. What if they don't believe me? What do I do? And God said, 
what is in your hand? And Moses looked. He said, well, it's my staff. And the Lord said, throw it down. And when Moses did, it became a snake. And he backed up in fear. And the Lord said, pick it up by the tail. Moses, he was afraid, but he did as he was told. And when he picked that snake up by the tail, it became his staff again. And the Lord said, show them that and tell them you are here from the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob. They'll believe. Put your hand inside your cloak. And Moses did. Now take your hand out. And when Moses did, oh, he was horrified to see that his hand was white with leprosy. And the Lord said, put your hand back inside your cloak and pull it out. Oh, and when he had, his hand was restored. The Lord said, if they don't believe the first miracle, Perhaps they'll believe the second. And if they don't believe either of those, take water from the Nile River and pour it on the ground. It will become as blood. Now go. But Moses, he protested. He said, Lord, I'm not eloquent of speech. Uh, I'm slow to speak. My tongue is slow. And God said, who made man to speak? Who made man to hear? Who made man to see? I did that. I will teach you what to say. Now go. But once more, Moses protested and he said, Lord, Lord, please, please send someone else. And finally, the Lord's anger began to burn against Moses. And he said, then wait. Wait for your brother Aaron. I know that he can speak. He's on his way now. And when he sees you, he'll be filled with joy. Put your words in his mouth. I'll lead both of you. He will become the mouth for you, and you will become like God to him. Now, go and take your wooden staff with you, because it will help you to work miracles.